If you haven't heard about Anchor by Spotify, it's the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need in one place. In fact, this season of Millennial and Pregnant was produced and hosted on Anchor. Here's what I love about it. Anchor has tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. This made it easier for me to edit my episodes on the go. When hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. And best of all, Anchor is totally free. Download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hi, I'm Fatima. I'm Brian, and you're listening to Millennial and Pregnant. As we begin our journey through our first pregnancy, we wanted to share our experience. We pre-recorded episodes for this close-ended series. Spoiler alert, it ends with us having a baby. And if you're looking to get pregnant, are pregnant, or just want to have a good laugh with us, then this podcast is for you. We understand that every pregnancy is unique and has its own story. Here's ours. So Fatima, how are you feeling this week? I'm feeling wonderful. <laughs> Are you lying Besides, to me? <laughs> um, my expanding belly is making it itch constantly. <laughs> um, however, I have gotten my belly oil, my lotions, just making sure I'm hydrating and moisturizing my belly at least in the morning and right before bed. So that's been helping. But then also something that I've been experiencing, especially when I'm sleeping and then I go to like stretch my legs a little bit, that I'm having these, the worst leg cramps ever in my entire life, which makes me jump out of bed. Brian looks at me. She's like, so dramatic. <laughs> I'm not dramatic. I don't know. Like when you have pain that wakes you up in the middle of the night, it just feels so much worse. Like had I just been laying there and it started to happen, I can process it and be like okay this is what i need to do but when you are like half asleep and then you have this pain come i'm, I'm sorry all bets are off so usually i'm you know crying and and then brian like he's like what's wrong what's wrong let me know and i'm like let me cramp and then he's like oh and goes back to sleep <laughs> so he wants to first make sure like what it is because i'm scaring him because i'm crying and, like, and you don't tell pain. me for like five minutes because I know, because like, I know what's going to, because I know what's going to be his reaction, and <laughs> all the empathy and stuff will go out the window once he knows it's like a leg cramp. Because I'm banking all of it for when you like are in serious pain and we need to go to the hospital. True, true. <laughs> to but deliver a baby. I was reading up on it, and they don't have. They have. They like. Okay, it's common in pregnant women. They don't know why. Isn't it like we don't know why you have like cramps? Yeah, they're like <laughs> so you know, restless leg syndrome. Like when you're sleeping, you feel like you're just moving your legs around and stuff. And leg cramps, they actually had no reason for, <laughs> you know, no medical reason mm-hmm. for why that would ha- why that's more why it comes up for women. Yeah. Do you find it in one leg more than the other, or have you had it in both legs? I've had it in both legs. I don't think it's been one more than Not the other. At the same and it, time. it only Ooh, happens because like. You know when you get into bed and you just want to sh- like just you stretch, you oh, know yeah. you stretch your legs. Cute like, little I, puppy. I patch. I, I just pictured Hayden like <laughs> yeah, stretch stretching. right before he goes to sleep. <laughs> that's what you know. That's what I'll do in the middle of the night. I'm just like oh, I just want to stretch, and then you're like, <gasps> it's not you're coming like, back. Oh, the stretch fuck. is not coming back. Uh, but other than that, it's been great. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you had leg cramps in the same in both legs at the same time. Ooh, that's just that, I don't even want to imagine. Death. That would Death. that would feel like I'm dying. <laughs> yeah, I would be dying at that time. Oh my god. So, you know, when we first half found out we were pregnant and we were, you know, slowly starting to tell people, I just started asking the people we would tell, "Do you have any advice like for your first time kid, not your second, third, tenth, just advice for your first kid?" And one of my coworkers said something that really stuck with me. And he said, you know, appreciate the time you have now with your partner and appreciate just the things that you have now with your partner. And for some reason that really stuck with me because one Saturday morning, like last month, we're just sitting there in bed, we woke up and I'm like, Fatima, 
do you hear that? <laughs> She's like, what? I was like, it's quiet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's definitely going to be something that like you will, that we want to make sure we're appreciating right now yeah. because we're not going to have as much quiet time as we will have once the baby comes. <laughs> I know. I know. And we were sitting here and you just went, you just went to go pee and I'm like, I'm just use sitting the here <laughs> to go use the restroom. <laughs> and I'm just sitting here in the chair and I'm just like, wow, it's quiet. Mm-hmm. You can hear the the clock ticking. You can hear the clock ticking. You can hear the people beeping. The sirens. The cars mainly. outside. The sirens. <laughs> the building never next to us. We're not in the country. We never hear 100% <laughs> quiet, but you hear, you know. Your, the fryer your, your alarm white, going yeah, off yes. at the Chinese food <laughs> place <laughs> next I hate door. That fryer alarm. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, it's the silence when we're just sitting there, and you know, Sunday, Saturday morning. And we're like, oh, my God, it's quiet. And although Brian doesn't take advantage of this as much as I would like him to take advantage of it, it's being able to sleep in on the weekends. I don't understand. I cannot get up. He's like a toddler and he wakes up at like 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. And I'm like, what is wrong with you? Like, I know. But during the week, I cannot get mm -hmm. up at 7 a.m. to to save my life. But weekends, he's up at the crack of dawn so you're gonna it'll do, be like 6 30 you're gonna like, do Ooh, yeah watch it once we have like a toddler you you're not gonna be able to you're not gonna wake up at that time no i'm gonna be able to sleep in <laughs> yeah you'll be able to sleep in during that time so we'll have to just kind of like rotate maybe one of us will be able to sleep in take the baby exactly. out of the room or whatever we need to do to help with that and also I'm, i haven't been getting up when i have been waking up i haven't been getting up like today you got i woke up early i'm like okay let me try to go back to sleep and then i woke up again you weren't there you were out here eating cereal yeah so i'm like okay as long as the team is up i can get up yeah i was was, (laughs) i've been i've been more conscious about that lately going to the gym a little later instead of i have an excuse though i can't sleep i know um but i'll lay there until i woke up at like 7 15 i probably laid in bed around 7 45 8 o'clock and then i I said, yeah. hey, let, let me get out of bed. And then I got up at 8. Mostly because I was hungry. <laughs> and so I got out of bed to, to, to eat and just sit on the couch and mm-hmm. just change the scenery. But I think, you know, sleeping in on the weekends is just something that will – and just sleeping in general. Yeah. <laughs> will be appreciate that, that now. Yes, we'll appreciate it. And I think because we're both on – we're going to be on – you know, we're going to be home with the baby for the first um, few few weeks – We'll be able to help a little bit with alleviating the sleep. Yeah. Although I think both of us at the first first like nighttime <laughs> we cry, we'll put we'll both get up. Our heads will pop up like bunnies because we don't probably want to resent <laughs> one another. So we'll just get up together. But then after that, we'll and get day over three. It. Yeah. Then we'll get, get over it, it, it and we'll be like, okay, let's switch on and off or whatever we need to do. I know. And then I guess also just you know. Just leaving whenever you want. Yeah. Or even getting out of the door like fast. like On a fast. specific time mm-hmm. schedule. Like, you know, you can just, you and I can just go on the weekends. We love taking walks across the park. So it's just, it's really easy just to like, just, just leave. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we'll just throw on whatever and throw our keys and our wallets and our, our pockets and just, and just be go. off. But no, when you have a baby with you, you have to make sure, okay, did I pump? <laughs> yeah. Did I pump my milk so that I'm not like engorged? Yeah. Even when you're out there, even when we're walking and then, oh my God, are your boobs on fire because you got to yeah. pump? Yep. Uh, or feed? You know, you want to feed the baby probably before mm-hmm. they leave. Make sure they have a clean diaper, mm-hmm. clean clothes, and then packed for extra things. Yeah. Pack their bag, then strap them in appropriately, then carry the stroller down the the stairs. It's just going to be so much more of a a process it and a is. system that we'll have to like get down. It's mm-hmm. not just like okay, time to go and go and then go. <laughs> so that you know that's going to be we'll be adding some more time. Yeah. Onto it, and maybe that means waking up a little earlier. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Exactly. So. Oh, yeah. Waking up earlier for, you know, it's not, okay, I need an hour to get ready for work. It's, okay, I need 20 minutes to pump. Then I have to feed the baby. Then I have to do this. We have to drop them off mm-hmm. here. You know, if they're going into daycare or something, it's just going to be, <laughs> it's going to be, a- <laughs> it's going to be a lot more. Pl- I honestly think Brian's like really excited about it because it's, 
this person loves planning and like a <laughs> schedule. I never seen someone who loved to be on such a schedule more than Brian. So this will be perfect for you. I know. I think I will struggle with it just a little bit because I'm going to have to just like get on your level. But he <laughs> lo- like I think you're actually excited about that. I am. I'm also anxious about it because I won't be able to. It won't be a perfect schedule. Yeah, because you're going to have to be flexible because <laughs> some things happen. And that's where right before I you leave, have an issue with. Right before you leave and the baby wants to like poop in the diaper. Yeah, <laughs> and you're like, explosive. crap, I just like, literally oh, just strap them in. And now and then it, yeah. or stuff gets all on their clothes. And yeah. then you and have to change, change them, them. And then you change them and they pee on you. And you're like, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and then, so we're going to appreciate yes. our, our schedules as yes. we can move freely whenever we want yep. at the moment. And, you know, our New York's, you know, summer is approaching, although it doesn't look like that outside. I know. Um, Snow, snow, snow. It's April and we're still getting snow. Yeah. But our, like, Friday visits to Blockheads and having our margaritas just right when you get out of work. And we call up our friend Stephanie and we call Kate and we meet them all at Blockheads and we have, you know, some... You Nick, know. Edwin, are you yeah. there? Some, some. Someone's reserving a table. Mm-hmm. And we're, yeah. yeah, and that was our biggest worry was like, can we get a table like that we didn't have to wait an hour for? Yeah. So someone would go there early. No. no. Like, we'll have like, to. is it okay we can totally, for the baby to be we there can with still, us? Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, I know when we're at like, when we're at honestly, the bar, I'm always judging. The, yeah. Honestly. It's but Blockheads opinion. is, it's judging. not a bar. It's a restaurant. It's it totally restaurant. okay to take the baby there with you I just can't get you, shit faced yeah, you know one you know we probably both shouldn't really ever get shit no honestly at the I same know. time now that we have a kid but i think we've we always been really up. we've been really good with that like one of us is you know if one of us is being a little more of a lush we the other one steps yeah. back and usually that's brian and we never, um <laughs> but we don't get to that point when i we're don't together. get to that point Yes, <laughs> I don't get to that point. Um, but that's a whole nother podcast. Um, <laughs> but, so I will appreciate more margaritas now. Yes, but I think this is like, <laughs> let me just take a step back. I think that as long as we plan, like it won't be as, as this goes back to planning ahead of time. So it won't be as spontaneous, but right. we can still do our, we should still keep up with our Friday blockhead mm-hmm. visits. We just need to make sure we have, a babysitter yep. that you know will babysit the baby on a friday night and mm-hmm. i've had so many offers from so many people about <laughs> babysitting this child so i'm going to be calling on all those um favors and luckily our <laughs> kit our friends are not all in the same group of friends so if i'm going out with one group of friends hopefully the other one the other one will <laughs> will take the kid yeah. so we just have to like plan accordingly and like exactly you know they'll They'll just why well, I think we need to make sure that we don't totally we lose don't succumb our to identity. Our, yeah, you know, to and, the, and then it just the becomes yeah, because you know, happy parents are going to raise a happy kid, right? And so, and so mommy and daddy needs margaritas. I know, and so it you know it was so it was fun. I mean, we we are sort of spontaneous. We're not like uber spontaneous like let's go hop yeah. on a plane and fly to california yeah. <laughs> we're like for a couple of days we're thinking about oh what can we do mm-hmm. and the things we do and then like hey we'll do it we're spontaneous in two days in advance in two days in advance <laughs> so but so like last month we're just sitting here at night um and we're like let's go see black panther mm-hmm. and so we went and so i'm gonna miss that kind of that kind of spontaneousness mm-hmm. where you're like let's just go and let's do something um and so that was fun and 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 making sure that we do keep up with our date nights and and those kind of outings. Although, you know, someone did have the nerve to brought they brought the kid into the movies. Oh, and this was like a was a nine thirty movie. And I I hear you know and you try to sympathize a little bit because you're like maybe they just really wanted maybe to they see... also wanted to go see Black Panther, which you should. Mm-hmm. Really good movie, and they just couldn't find anyone. The only thing is, it's okay. You can bring your baby in. Yeah. If your baby starts crying, like. You should you need to walk get them out. Like walk them out. Like we understand that you have a baby and maybe you maybe couldn't get someone to watch it. That's totally okay. But if your baby is starting to cry, please, I I just hope that I'm gonna have be that considerate. I think I just rather wait for it to go to DVD before I take a unless I know the baby. What's a DVD? 
<laughs> oh, child. Um, they won't even know what a VHS some people, tape is. Some people will not know what a DVD Or a cassette is. tape. They won't even know that. No, they won't. Oh, my God. Maybe they won't even know what an iPhone is. Oh, my gosh. They'll know what an iPhone is. I think the, the iPhone will stay around for a little bit. Yeah. But maybe because actually a lot of the things are just being streamed. No one will, I don't think there's many people who actually go out and buy the DVD anymore. It's, yeah. It's through Netflix or whatever else. <laughs> um, and then also appreciating our wallets now. Knowing that, oh, I'm going to go out and I'm going to go out and spend a lot of money on new clothes or something and now i have to be a little more conscious about i don't have to clothe me i also have to clothe a baby yeah <laughs> which is also i think which is also fun <laughs> we we and we're not like too crazy with like no. the shopping and we we do have a budget it's just that our miscellaneous budget on ourselves is just shrinking <laughs> a little bit more and so then you have to you know buy stuff for the baby diapers and all that other good stuff you i know, know. And because we're just so conservative, because we want to still hit our savings goals, so we're just going to have to cut down on other places. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, <laughs> to yeah, not Brian's affect those like, it's, it's really fun with buying the baby clothes. I like sent him, I was working from home and I sent him out. I was like, just, can you just like go, like <laughs> <Can you laughs> leave, leave the apartment? I, was, I, I, I need some time away. I need to get this work done because he'll start talking to me. And I'm just like, oh, my God, Brian, like, I just need to just do this work. So I go, let him go outside on his own. I'm just practicing being a kid. Yeah. Mommy, okay. mommy, can you go in the way? I, I just closed the door on him. <laughs> um, and he, he comes back with baby outfits. <laughs> First of all, he same times or FaceTimes me. Same times me. I'm thinking about work. He FaceTimes me. And it's like, oh, which one do you like more? I'm like, what are you doing in the baby section of H&M right know. now? You know, I then- was so confused in that section because I couldn't find the newborn clothes. Mm-hmm. They because they separated, you know, boys on one side, girls on the other side. But they had the newborn stuff on the girl side, so I didn't go with that side until I'm like, let me see what's over here, and mm-hmm. there's all the newborn stuff. They're so, so, yeah, they're so cute. He came home. He came home with some cookie monster. Cookie outfit. monster. Yeah, Brian's like, having a lot of fun with it. It's like, so like, don't listen to him. He actually, that's I know. A, a, like something he's actually excited about. Like little Nige's jacket that I that we yeah, got him. So I cute. love. It's like this little cute monster. Yeah. Oh my god. It was really. cute. I wanted though. one for myself. It was really cute. Hopefully, my he siblings was, are saving their. He was on clothes. fleek. Because I want, I want that jacket back. I know. Um, <laughs> and just me, being, we just let them borrow it. <laughs> I know. Um, just me being like an anxious, crazy person. Just my clean apartment. I have. No. I think I've done a really good job of kind of just letting. Go. I had to just let go a little bit, or else. I'm yeah, usually during myself. busy season, you kind of let go. <laughs> in general, I do let go a little bit. Um, but also, I've done more to not let go. Like, cause mm-hmm. I. I am not as anxious about clean as you are, mm-hmm. but I like, I do like when things where they are, they just, you know, are in a pile somewhere, not put away <laughs> in a desk. And I know where they are. They're in that pile over there. Mm-hmm. But I, would you agree that I've become better about being a little more neat freak? I wouldn't say neat freak, being more neat. Y- yes. <laughs> yes. He has been. There's been times like if I'm working. There's we- been improvement. Yeah. And I'm, if I'm working the weekend, I'm an organized mess, and yeah. you are just organized. Yeah, but some, <laughs> but yeah, when I get really busy, all my organization gets thrown out mm-hmm. the window. Yeah, which makes me anxious, and then I go through like a cleaning spree. Mm-hmm. But if I was working the weekend, Brian would, and I could come home. He would, he would have the apartment clean, which was nice because especially after a long mm-hmm. Saturday at work, you don't want to come home to a dirty apartment during the week you can make you make passes yeah we're coming in and out although i think that we might have to like be a little as i think about it because we have such a small apartment we're really gonna have to when when we take something out I we're know. going to have to put it back where it I was know. because we're uh, we have another like mini human yeah in the in the house that they have they come with stuff although we've kept it very limited the amount of stuff down to the bare minimum yeah, we of went, what they need. Yeah, we went through all these essentials, and we'll talk about this at a, at a later time. But we went all through the essentials and we're like, okay, essentials. exactly. We went through the essentials, and then we're like, 
no and then we kept going we kept reading about it we're like actually they don't need that they don't mm-hmm. need that they don't need that mm-hmm. and so we cut it down mm-hmm. to what we think are the bare minimum essentials because as I and look even around, then there was some stuff that everything. i would say we had nice to haves yeah that were just like, like, like bottle warmer yeah like which the bo- we have which well, is and important the, yes i mean we didn't want to turn on the gas oven every single time we wanted yeah. to warm a bottle up yeah and we don't have a microwave exactly. although people say that it's not good to microwave it anyways but exactly. we we didn't want to have to turn on our gas oven every, every time. single time um especially if someone's over and like our oven is a, our stove top it could be a little bit fickle so if there's someone else watching the baby it's just easier to have exactly. that so that was the reason why we went towards the bottle warmer and then yeah. Like the swing, like the baby swing. I know. Only because I saw how much my nephews and niece niece loved they, the swing. They like passed out. And you want it, you know, if you want to rest from your arm and you don't want them to always be laying down on their back and, you know, you want to soothe them a little bit, the swing. Yep. And get, have just still also have a nice support. Mm-hmm. Had I can. not seen them use the swing as much, I probably would have been like, no, we don't yeah. need it. But that swing. They use that swing a, a lot. A lot. So we we put that thing on our registry yeah we're like we need it i don't know where i'm gonna put it but we might have to. yeah gonna... we just talked about it we're gonna have to get rid of a we think a piece of furniture <laughs> in our in our <laughs> living room because yeah. there's really no space yeah we went into target just to look at what it was how big it was i said oh no this is not gonna fit <laughs> so we have to so space space we have to you know get rid of some of the stuff that yeah so we're not going to be in this tiny space forever so i'm okay with making those sacrifices now yeah and yeah and space in general is just the thing that oof i'm gonna appreciate now because we have it well not right now because we moved around our whole apartment <laughs> and set it up so but right now we don't have this it's space. actually gradually now we're just like okay we just come to terms with it at yeah. this point there'll be but bride there's a lot more stuff coming i know so i know I know. We just need, that's why I'm like, yeah, we need to, although I was like, who like, oh, I love my little lantern that I have on my tabletop or, or whatever. Maybe I have to pack that away because yeah. I need just the extra space. And yep. if I'm moving around, I don't want to have to worry Knock about knocking things over. Yeah. So yeah, l- like lanterns, that, we love our lanterns, <laughs> but they're going to have to go into storage. They're going to have to go. Mm-hmm. I mean, How am I going to light is, my apartment? I know, all of our candles and, uh, but you know... <laughs> All this stuff is totally worth, and the, you know. oh, the gym. Oh, oh, yes. Not that it's a big thing, but, but it's a big my gym thing. Partner, I he, know. You know, we we help motivate. What babysitter is going to come over at seven o'clock in the morning no so we can go to the gym? So now we're going to have to dig deep, find our own motivation, and take turns <laughs> and take turns going to the gym. And that's something that's important to us to stay healthy, mm-hmm. especially when you know. Especially after I've, you know, when I, once I'm cleared to exercise and stuff, I want to make sure that my, you know, my body gets back to. Yeah. Or I'm not going to go back to how it was before, but that I remain <laughs> healthy. And I'm okay with that. Yeah. You've but, accepted that. Yeah. I'm totally okay with it. I'm, I'm embracing all that I can eat. Yeah. The doctor's telling me I need to gain weight. Okay. I'll gain weight. I didn't <laughs> think it would ever be possible to break my certain weight because I had never broke. I've never went over a certain I know pound itch and it's and you did it girl yeah i did it so um i like you're over look those 20 to, something pounds yeah i look forward to like making sure because it's just an indicator that you're also your baby is growing as well exactly and so that was important and knowing that and part of me wa- wanting to continue to go to the gym now while you're pregnant is knowing that we're gonna have a baby i'm gonna be lifting this baby and these things the baby's gonna get heavier making sure that i will be able to keep up with that yeah yeah (laughs) which in itself is its own workout so so no no gym partner but um because that was a nice motivation to have mm -hmm. but now we'll just be like but this will also be a nice break so we'll have a like you have a break away from the baby i'll have a break away from the baby where we can just do our own exactly thing because you know that's just something that you know although we feel like you they're like oh the advice your co-worker said to appreciate things Mm -hmm. You don't want to totally lose them. Exactly. So you just have to make sure you work with your schedule now and making sure we stay happy and healthy mm-hmm. in order to really 
pass it on to our kid. Our kid's not going to be happy or healthy if we're miserable, miserable. and we, we gave up everything that we loved and we're unhealthy. <laughs> our kid's just not going to be happy. So, exactly. like, just, you know, going through this just made it, you know, okay, we can't do it every time we want to. Right. But make sure we don't lose it. Right. And knowing how to be flexible mm-hmm. around all of that. Totally. Um, this was fun. This was fun. I mean, I think this was really helpful too, just kind of going through <laughs> this stuff. It's like and I hope therapy, that Fatima. this is like therapy. And I hope that, like, <laughs> if anyone's thinking about, okay, I don't want to give up all this stuff, you don't have to. You don't have to. You just have to make sure that you are planning ahead of time and you just have to modify maybe the way mm-hmm. you're doing what you're doing. Mm-hmm. But it was so great talking to you guys, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks for listening to another episode of Millennial and Pregnant. Since you made it this far, share our series with a friend. To follow our journey in real time, head over to liliesandloafers.com. <laughs>